Okay, so in this one, we're going to do a song called Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. The bass line is fairly simple, but it's going to really test your agility. So it's going to test how well you can play and how fast you can play. It's quite a fast part, and it's and it's lovely to do, actually. It's, it's brilliant, and uh, my head just frazzles every time I try and play it. Now, the key that we're in here is F sharp minor, okay? So don't worry too much about that. There's only four notes. So let me just tell you what they are. They're in patterns of two. So the first four notes and then the second four notes. And they're all based on the same four notes. So here we go. So the first one is this F sharp. And then we move down to the C sharp. And then we move to the E and then back to the F sharp. And it sounds like this. Okay, so there's the first bit. And once again, I can't play the song here, but directly below this lesson, I've actually included the, the video so you can have a little play along with it as well, okay? So there's the first four notes. So, okay, and the next one, so the next set of four notes starts with the E, then it goes to the C sharp, then it goes down to the B, and then it finishes on the C sharp. So it sounds like this. And you have to play them all in one block. So, it, you know, play, it messes with your head a little bit, but it's good fun. So here it sounds. Ah, oh, and I played it first time. How good is that? Okay, so here it sounds again. Ah, oh, a bit of a stumble there, but we got there. So the next thing is I'm just going to use this standard offbeat that we learned last week. So let me just play all these clips, and we'll just practice just trying to get down, just as we do always. Oh, we're not going to play it that fast. Let me just stop this, that's way too fast. So I'm going to just duplicate this whole block. Okay, oh, control Z. Um, duplicate this block. There we go. And we're just going to delete that. Move that one up and change this to about a hundred and let's start at 100 actually and just see how we get on with that B and you have to put BPM on this otherwise it won't recognize that you want to change the BPM if you just put 100 it won't work so here we go let's try it again ah And that's not too bad. I made a little mistake there. Sorry about the, the growling. <laughs> okay, so let's um let's bring up our piano roll. And let's try and just play it along with it and then we'll go into record mode and we'll we'll give it our best shot to record it. Okay, so let's play. Okay, messed up, but we're gonna go for this. Ah, one more time. Let's do it one more time. It was all going. It was all going too well. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I just messed up ever so slightly. So I'm just going to edit some of these notes. Um, and Josie, remember to unselect them first. And I'm just going to edit them just so that they are legato and there's no overlapping and this one on the end was a bit too short and it's a bit too loud so let me just play that not too bad i've still got to practice a bit more it wasn't perfect and and the idea with this is just to keep it going and i mean that runs all the way through the intro all the way through the verse until the pre-chorus um so give it your best shot and i'll see you in the next lesson where i'm just going to set you a little bit of homework to kind of finish up these these week's lessons okay